What's going on, people? It's a flying modem, and I'm giving y'all another interview. This time, it's with my homie, Fraser Boy, and this interview is going to be a little different because I curse more in this video. It's a bit more slang, and the reason for that is I wanted Fraser Boy to be as comfortable speaking as possible. I didn't want to limit him. I wanted him to be himself and give y'all the real Fraser Boy. So, this video may not be for everybody. You know, I try not to curse or curse very little on my channel, but this video, I had to make this exception because I wanted it to be as raw as his channel is and I give y'all some gimp Fraser boy or something like that so uh with that I think this is my best interview yet I hope y'all still enjoy it thought that being said man this is Fraser boy and watch this clip right here don't run up on me one nerd two nerds I'm gonna be out here this year bruh three nerds where the fuck you at four nerds nerd life bitch get body I'm gonna be out this motherfucker this August bodying these motherfuckers just like that that clip just got me hype as fuck. I can't wait, bruh. I can't wait till this shit drop. <laughs> I'ma drop a raw ass montage on they ass. Watch what I tell you, bruh. Uh, be honest with you, man. I, I never would have thought me and you would be here talking with each other like yeah. this. Yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of people think I'm like this dick or some shit like that. I'm not even like that, man. You know, <laughs> a lot of people think that. Like, like I talked to um, JD the other day. He, he thought I was a dick. You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, him going back and forth. So, it, if once you once you, if you ever be in a party with me on PlayStation, you'll just know I'm not like that. The shit I do on YouTube be to defend my channel. You know, YouTube yeah. is a different environment. You know? Yeah, there's there's no code of ethics off this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why I say that for me in particular, uh, this is around the time you and multi styles, or you had a problem with multi styles, and yeah, I know, I know, I remember all that. Yeah, you know what's so crazy? What? Me, me, me and me and multi style like real good friends now. Like he ain't even been doing YouTube, but he still called me. Yeah, I haven't even heard from multi style. I'm wondering what happened to him. But he going through a lot of personal shit right now, but he'll be back. You'll see him on, on my channel. Oh, okay. he back on his channel. Yeah, I'm, I'm setting that up. He'll be back soon. That's good. Nice to see the homie doing well. Um, but yeah, when you know all that was going down, I didn't see a video from Multi Styles. I seen it from Ninja. Ninja had liked it, and um. I'm real cool with Ninja, and I like check out some of the videos or whatever. And I seen your video, and then I just at you, and um, I'm a real nigga. Like I'm a yeah. real ass nigga. I'm from Compton. I don't even really claim my city when I'm like doing my YouTube shit. Like I keep that separate. But but when it's like when it's time for real to recognize real to level with people, I know I can level with and be real with. Like okay, you bought that life. And mm -hmm. I understand the energy. I respect it. Like, let me come on, let me come at you on some real nigga shit. Yeah. So uh, I added you and everything. And you know, we kind of went back and forth. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was ready. Like, I was, yeah. I was gonna have a video ready to like just. Uh -huh. You're right. <laughs> like, you I, I was about to go off when I, I was waiting. And then like you said something. Like I couldn't figure out if you would sneak this in me or if you was like both. You were saying something to me. But at the end of your video, you was like, I know you watching, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Man. I'm just waiting. And I was like, this nigga, this nigga <laughs> is talking to me. And like, I really felt like he was talking to me. Um, Bruh. Bro, you wanna know something crazy? It's so many people who be thinking I be talking about them, yeah. but I don't even be talking about them. I be talking about somebody completely different. <laughs> I was like, man, no, man. Right, I got right. a lot of. I got a lot of like I never see this with you. You know what I mean? After we had that thing, that ended right there. Yeah. I'm telling you some real shit. I'm not about going in on smaller channels in the video. If I go in on a channel, they bigger. Than me. You know, even like the whole Era Six situation. Right. I hate I hate that dude, but I never go in on a video about him because he's a smaller channel. I know how it is if you're a smaller channel and have a bigger channel attack you. That shit ain't fair. Right. You know, I'm gonna keep it real at the end of the day, regardless if I don't like you or not. You know what I mean? What's right is right. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna attack, I'm not gonna attack no smaller channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I respect that. So, um, all that being said, man, I, 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 I felt some kind of way, but it's like, you know, I, I ain't had no confirmation. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, it, it don't make no sense for this dude who's body, who's rowdy in the video, who's mm-hmm. just like telling me how it is. Like, you see a raw commentary. So I'm like, I'm going to wait for him to call my name out. If it's that big, then he'll call my name out. Nah. Uh, you know, it never happened or whatever. And he's like, I don't know where you were just supporting my videos, whatever. And I like your shit. Like, even before, you know, that and all that shit, like, like I like your video. like your I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the situation with me and Motorstar. Me and Motorstar was cool, right? Right. And I made a video. I was going in on Reaper. Right. And Motorstar didn't drop a like on. It. He stopped dropping likes on me completely. Right. So when he stopped dropping likes on me, I was like, damn. He stopped dropping likes on me because I went in on Reaper. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's when I started. That's why I was like, oh, he ain't a real nigga. Then I'm going in on him because you no, know, we all supposed to be supporting each other. You know, right. it's a small circle. And then me and him had a talk, and I have a better understanding that Motosau is just a neutral dude all around. Right, you know right. what I mean? It was a real big misunderstanding between me and him. But you know, I can get on the phone with Motosau, stay on the phone for like three hours straight and just talk. Not, you know? Yeah. And um, it, it's not it's not like that. It wasn't nothing. It was a misunderstanding between me and Motosau. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like you know, this man, when, he, when his wife had that car accident, he called me. He called me first, you know? Um, and we talked, so it, 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 it was just some real misunderstanding shit. And I could see you as a sub, you're like, damn, most styles a uh, 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 chill, laid back dude. There's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes on YouTube that people don't be knowing or understanding. And, um, they 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 like, why would he do that? Not knowing why, why would I say this and do that, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, uh, in this certain things have held me back and a lot of that is on myself and when it comes to like you know multi stars I've talked to him a few times uh, I don't have his number or anything like that but uh, the times we have talked you know I know that he's a real dude and, you know he explained the whole Reaper thing to me too you know, I had a problem with Reaper and what he was doing he was like, like you know he's neutral on it like you said and I'm like I can understand that you know, it's not my place to be like don't be friends with him or whatever like that's your choice and I, I respect mm-hmm. that so, oh, just with all that being said, man, I, 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 that's where my first intake of who Frazier Boy is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, you're a real rowdy, real raw, you're a real nigga. You ain't give a yeah. fuck, you know, and uh, that's everything I can appreciate. Because... Like, but, like at that moment when I was coming in, like when I did that, I was, I was really just coming into the college. I felt like I had everything to gain and nothing to lose, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause yeah. I ain't, I ain't had no subs. Like I had subs, but they was like dead subs. I had like right. 1K subs. When nobody watched me, I was getting 15 likes of videos, like 80 views. I ain't had nothing to lose, so you know. Right, right. Yeah, and I, I can definitely take that. Um, the steps that you took, and with that, it's paid off. Like you have the respect of so many YouTubers and not to mention like bigger channels and you know they shout you out almost frequently I, I know if not today maybe yesterday you just got a shout out from uh, my boy uh, man his name escaped me uh, Mr. Hunt News that's yeah. my boy like he's a good people then you know he had to shout you out I didn't even know he watched you you know what I'm saying and yeah. you know everything he said about your channel is true uh, you, you wanna know something crazy, bro? Okay. I got so many big ass channels. So you know you could check and see who subbed you. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so many big ass channels who sub to me, but they don't never they don't drop likes. Uh they they don't follow me on Twitter, but they sub. Like this I'm talking about like these are like big premium channels in the Call of Duty community. Wow. I don't even know how the fuck they found my channel. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, but I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. Um. So, so let me ask you, how do you feel? And you're very vocal about this all the time. I know you say, you know, the the content speaks for itself, the gameplay speaks for itself, the commentary speaks for itself. But do you feel like anything else has contributed to your success and your growth? Um, my success and my growth. It'll be my team. Um, Black Ninja Nine on One. And one away. That that's what really keep me going. Ninja, Ninja like my best motherfucking friend. You know what I mean? Like I talk to Ninja every day for like three to four right. hours. 
phone. If it went for Ninja, you know, I don't know if I'd still be doing this shit. Like, to be real, if I could take my son and give it to Ninja, I would, you know, like, and just grow over, you know, because, you know, I went growing until Ninja put me on his channel, you know, he let me upload on his channel. Then I started getting like a little fan base, and then that's when I started growing and shit like that. Yeah. I, I don't know, like, if it went, my all my success come from God and my friends, bro. You know, like Ninja and One Away. That's that's where everything comes from. I I be I be a fake ass nigga to lie and say it didn't come from Ninja. You know what I mean? Like, everything, everything came from Ninja, bro. Yeah, and shout out to Ninja. Uh, that's my nigga too. Um, real good people. Uh, shit, when I had to step away from my channel for a second and came back, he, I asked if I could post to his channel again. And he was like, for sure, you're the homie and everything. It's like, he always up uh, for helping. You know people. what? That's the first time I seen you on Ninja Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was, it was a horrible fucking video. Because <laughs> the Call of Duty Ghost era, Ninja was that dude out here because he was dropping kill strikes left and right. Oh, yeah, he was. I, I really feel like Call of Duty Ghost was the Ninja era because Ninja had just made his channel and he was growing so fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was going in too with the Kim. But everything about him was going in. His commentary yeah. was on point, his gameplay was on point, and just his persona was on point you can really gravitate towards him and everything um i think matter of fact maybe the first video i seen of yours is on this channel yeah ninja did a lot for me man like <laughs> like a lot of commentary topics and a lot of the way i move on youtube and shit like right. that they come they come from me and him talking like you know uh, it, it's crazy man like a lot of shit come from me and ninja talking like, ain't no way in this world I, like, grow and Ninja not grow with me because I'll be right there with him, you know? And, and that's, it's the, the brotherhood you two have, especially um, the people y'all include, like, one away. Uh, it's very apparent, you know? It's not um, just behind scenes. Y'all very vocal about who you fuck with and how heavy y'all fuck with them. And um, definitely, I can see that you and Ninja, y'all just, like, two peas in a fucking pod. Yeah. So, um... I can definitely see that, uh, and it, it's it's good to hear you say, you know, and be honest about uh, who you feel you owe your success to. Um, yeah, if it, if it weren't for no ninja, it wouldn't be no phrase about the college experience like that. You know, some people may argue that uh, you you have found success in some kind of way. I mean, I feel like maybe if not as fast or as in the same way. You, you know, you definitely want to find some kind of success. Now, I done had my channel for a while, but I never took my channel serious. I didn't know. See, this is the thing about YouTube. A lot of people don't know how to, uh, they don't know how to grow a YouTube channel. I'm just not learning. I'm just not learning my niche. You know, it took me like two two years to find my niche. But actually, I quit YouTube. Like, I started this channel and I uploaded for a couple of months and then I stopped like a year and a half, like almost two years. Like, it's a big gap in my videos. Look at it. Right. The and um, when I came back, I came back right before Ghost came out. So really, my first Call of Duty was Call of Duty Ghost, as far as like being a Call of Duty commentator. You know, I posted right. Black Ops 2 GB, but I wasn't a Black Ops 2 commentator. You know, right, I was right. a, I was on gears. Right, and um, we can transition into that. You are, I know you're a heavy gears player, and yeah. you love for the franchise as do I. And um, I, I when I played Gears, I didn't have any knowledge of GBs or anything like that, nor uh, that competitive gaming was so big. And um, I know you had an interview you did back in the day, and we, we can see it's a younger Frazier, but now yeah. it seems like you're still young. And I don't mean like young in the sense of like you like 40 or some shit, but like it seems yeah. like you like 22 or some shit out this bitch like you still yeah have... i think i was like i think i was like 23 24 i forgot how old I was. i'm 27 now oh, and uh um, when i did that interview <laughs> i just had a strong ass buzz and here's a work community for like underground gaming you know right. underground clan matches in gear because gears of war had a strong community doing gears of war too 
Yeah. It was big. It was real big. They even had MLG. You know, they had a, a, lot, a lot of stuff, you know. But, um, yeah. And I'm actually a partner through Console Kings. Like, you, my YouTube partnership, right. I had got the interview with Console Kings. And once they got their own networking, I was one of the first um, content creators they hit up. They was like, hey, you know, you know, you got your own channel now. Because I used to just be you on know, team channels. I never did commentate back in the day in gear. I did straight gameplay that's right. when youtube was golden it was yeah. all about gameplay you right. know and people just search out gears the, and then they yeah, would find I, your I, videos i remember back in the day it went about like it was, it was about trying to get your youtube video to five stars a lot of people don't know about the five stars it didn't used to be a like button it used to be five stars back in the day right right the you know rating I mean? shit. Yeah, yeah it used to be different you know? um so how do you uh, fear, not fear, but how do you feel the Gears community has changed? Do you feel it's changed? Do you feel like it hasn't changed since you played uh, uh, the Ultimate Edition? Nah, I ain't nothing changed about Gears of War, man. It's still, it, it's down. You know, it's sad to say, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real about Gears, man. Right. It's, it's down, it's down right now, bro, you know? I look at bigger YouTubers with way more subs for me that do strictly gears. But you know, I was getting more likes and is views than some of these guys. I'm talking about these guys have 50,000, 80K, 100K, but all they po post is gears. Like, they, they, right. they got their sub base from back in the day, but they only get like 2,000 views a video, 150 likes a video. When I started uploading gears, bro, let's start with four. I, I, during the beta, I got like 4,000 views on the video, 2,000 views, 1,000 views. Like, and I was getting 200 to three, 300 likes on the video. Right. I'm looking like, damn, I'm just a, at that moment, I was a 4K channel. I'm like, why am I getting more views? You know? Yeah. They so, they don't, they, they don't understand. They so stuck in the past. They don't understand you gotta step the game, but it can't be monotone no more, you know? Shit get boring. Right, you know, right. we live in a world now, if somebody gonna catch your attention within the first 15 seconds or 20 seconds, they gonna click off your video, yeah. you know? That's why I came True. up with the Nerd Countdown. You ever notice how my video come on? It's, it come on like just going hard, yeah, because yeah. You, gotta, you gotta catch these people's attention right off the bat, you know? Right. A lot of people come in, they just, Hey guys, today I'm doing fuck that. One nerd, I'm bodying these motherfuckers. Two nerd, you know, yeah. like out the gate. I, I want your attention. You know, I'm gonna get your attention for the first 30 seconds. And some of these Gears of War guys that, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't even reach out to other people. There's no community channel. There's no community channel, sorry, in the Gears of War community. Right. You know, to help smaller commentators. You don't know. It's so many other dudes out there probably doing Gears of War commentating, but you don't know how to find them. Right. And a lot of them, and a lot of them don't even know how to be searched. Like if I turn, if I search Gears of War Ultimate Edition, it'd probably be like 10, 10 commentators in that. In reality, it's probably a hundred out there, but right. they don't know how to title their videos to be searched. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's so a big thing. it's like a loss. Don't ain't nobody teaching nobody in gears. Ain't no ain't nobody setting an example in, in the gears world community. You know, right? Um, the only people I really like to watch is uh, Arthur and you know, uh, Like Brother. You know, and Arthur used to, used to have this thing where he put smaller gears world commentators on his channel, and that was real good for the gears world community. But what, what about the other pro players in the Gears of War community? Why they don't do YouTube? They complain about how the community is so small, but they're not doing nothing to help it. They they just want to stream. They don't want to upload tips and tricks. They don't want to upload videos talking about this event, uh, this new playlist in the community. It's there's no pro players involved. You know how many pro players involved in the YouTube scene for Call of Duty? Oh yeah. It's, it's all yeah, you much. know what I mean. And that's what builds a community everybody being involved and it's not that many people involved but that's just the nature of gear stuff so gear is a violent ass game it is it, it's, it's no friends involved with gears unless you're on the same team like if i'm right. going to get you gears i don't like you Fuck you. right i'm a body i'm right. a hope when i get you down you know what i mean so especially the clans. yeah yeah it, it, it's just it, gear is a different beast bro and yeah there's definitely a difference in 
the Gears community versus Call of Duty community. Um, I feel like it's more verbal, like the trash talking is definitely more verbal. But uh, with um, yo, oh definitely. But the uh, trash talking is just so much more vicious. It, like you said, there's no friends in this shit unless you're on no. the same team. And if you're on the other team and I feel like you trash, like I'm gonna let you know about yourself. Like you ain't doing shit. Fuck yep. you. Like see me in the middle with a shotgun and let's just you know, make this shit happen. But and a lot of people quit gears because it's so skill heavy. It's different. It's oh, a different yeah. skill gap in gears. Like you actually gotta learn shit in gears with movement, aiming and out thinking your opponent and shit right. like that. Hip firing and all that shit. Like you yes, gotta... it's a lot of more skills involved, so I feel like in Call of Duty, like a, like a 10 in 3 gears gameplay, mm-hmm. like if you got 10 kills and 3 deaths, would be like a 30 and 9 Call of Duty TDM match or something like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, that's why I feel like the skill level is. You, you have to fucking earn those kills. Oh you yeah. Know? That's why when you see my game plan with gears, I'm going flawless, but I'm going ham. You ever see my gears game plan? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like I was um real quick, I was uh I was at my mom's house and I had my phone out, I was watching one of your videos. My brother was next to me and he played Gears. And um it was that it was a beta gameplay and he was doing like a nerd countdown and you know how you can yeah. you hype and shit. And yeah. like we watching the intro clip and I'm just like, damn, he is fucking yeah. him up and my brother's like, yo, I would be mad as fuck if I was him. I was uh-huh. just, just blown away like damn, that's some crazy shit. They made like the same feeling I get when I watch the Market J, when I see him do some crazy shit, I wanna go play Call of Duty. Watching yeah. that intro clip from you, that made me wanna go play. Wow, you, you know what? I get that a lot when people watch my all uh, gears, be like, man, you make me wanna play this game. You know, I actually got subs who didn't play gears. They went and picked it up just because I talked about it and, and how I um, uploaded it and how I did commentary. Man, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I noticed, uh, I tweeted at you too about the uh, shotgun. Uh, have you played since the patch? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, it's all right. So you feel like they, they fixed it or they just kind of put a Band-Aid just, over it? They put a Band-Aid over it. <laughs> it's still kind of funny, you know? It's okay. not as spongy, but right. it's funny, it's funny. No, it's right, not like, right. It's not like the Gears of War 3 shotgun. Gears of War 3 shotgun was perfect. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, when I got back on after the patch, I felt like I, there was definitely a difference, but there was still something missing, like mm-hmm. being close to somebody and not blowing them away. Like, oh, what is this about? But um, I definitely feel like they fixed it. So you feel like it's a lot more playable now. You feel like people should definitely uh, go back and play with it, try to touch on it. I don't know, bro, because I, I love Gears of War, right. but I bet, like, it's like, I, I, I'm right now, like, I bet I don't have a desire to get on. Right. You know, it's crazy. I don't I don't know, man. It's something with that game that's just not there, you know? Right. It's something, I don't know what it is. I play, like, I know, like, when I first started playing Gears of War 2, I think I was, like, 21 or, yeah, I think I was 21 or 20. I didn't have no job, no life. Nothing. Like all I did was play gears. Now every morning when I woke up, I looked forward to playing gears. I didn't care about doing nothing but playing gears. Now I look at like I'll get on PlayStation and just chill with people in the party if I get on gears. Now sometimes, you know. I can do it. Um, I definitely don't have the same drive to play gears as I used to either. Um, part I, I throw that up to one it being a remake. Two, you know. Uh, the graphics look so good though. Oh I feel yeah, like, the, the graphics. I feel like you should have. Uh, you know what I really think it feels? I think they really should have brought back better maps. They should have brought back more than just the Gears of War one maps. If they would have had a rotation of Gears of War one, Gears of War two, and Gears of War three maps, which they could have did. Well, I think they could have did. I think. Yeah, I mean done. they brought the characters from three and two and all that. Yeah, they so. they could have. They should have brought more maps. Bro, yeah, I think so too. The, the cycling and the maps are just horrible. Or something that, yeah, that's then you gotta think about it. It's four on four, so you know some of those big ass maps from Gears of War One, you'll be looking for somebody sometime. Oh yeah, it, it's been plenty of times I couldn't. I was just like roaming around and we're like, fuck, like what, what's this do that? Because even in my videos, you'll see I buy the three people out the real. You know what I mean? And now I'm just searching. Right. So, it, it's nah. 
It ain't fair. <laughs> uh, I wish they'd have made it like 5v5 at least. I feel like that would have made it less like we'll walk around looking for people. Yeah. Um, another question about Gears. How do you feel uh, if you played it? I don't know uh, if you played the uh, remake of the campaign. I have I have. I don't have time. I, bro, Motor Club has fucked me up as a campaign player. <laughs> oh, I can dig it. Um, okay, so you haven't played a campaign. Do no. you feel like they should include um, other modes? A lot of people are missing, like Horde mode and, you know, Beast mode from Gears of War nah, or whatever. They, they, they got Motor Club. That's all they need. That's all people really care about. Okay. Um,. What do you see the Gears franchise doing from here? How do you feel about Gears of War 4? You look forward to it? You not so excited about it? What's your thoughts? I'm looking forward to it. The only how it's going to jump is um, the pro players get involved. And the only how the pro players get involved is if MLG pick it up. A lot of people hate on MLG, but MLG motivate a lot of people. Like, if MLG pick up Gears of War 4, I think that that's what will explode the community because so many people want to be a pro player. I know people who quit Gears of War just because MLG didn't pick it up. Oh, you wow. know, it, it, a lot, I mean, a lot of people. Have. I think if MLG pick it up, I think the community will pick up, and then I think Gears will, will be back to where it was. But right now, it's not, bro. Don't know, don't, I, made a, I made a video about Hype PlayStation 4. Yeah, I'll the the, the the recent the recent Gears of War uh, tournament, right? And no no bigger YouTuber came through, and I, I don't look for likes, I don't look for a shout out or support for no other YouTuber. Right. But in the Gears of War community, right now, that is what you need. You need fucking um, you need fucking people out here to promote it and shit. Yeah, to promote it. Yeah, you need that, bro. Oh, damn. Did you just switch your mic? Yeah, I, I just realized that. Do it sound better now? Oh, it sounds so much better. I thought you was... Yo, know, that's crazy. That is fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. I thought I had switched already. Yeah, I do, too. We, I heard you switch it. So. Yeah, but then I, I looked at it. I was, I was like, damn, this shit don't even sound right. That's crazy, yo. So, here's community. What do you think we, as a community... And maybe just me and you, let, let's keep it confined to me and you. What do you think me and you could do to try and help the Gears community flourish? Just keep dropping videos? Should we try to look for other people and try to incorporate into it? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, keep dropping videos, man. Keep dropping videos and motivating smaller channels in the Gears community. But, man, like, my, my videos, I get like. Either I get either 250 some likes or 300 and like 80 likes on the video. Gears what videos? I bet like now since the game been out for so long, my likes have dropped down on Gears War. You know mm -hmm. my views have dropped down. I'm just 1K views and 150, 180 some likes on the Gears video. You know. Right. It, it makes it hard to want to even post the shit. You know. But I, I got a love for Gears, so I'm gonna keep doing it just to make my presence felt. You know, you never know, man. When Gears of War 4 getting ready to come out, they might want to fly out some commentators to, you know, try it out. You know. Yeah, yeah. But, but, they, but, but they so biased. They so biased in the Gears of War community. So they they'll look over somebody like me. I don't care. I mean, I feel like uh, they definitely need people like you, and uh, if they look over you, especially someone who's been in the Gears community and been so prevalent in the Gears community. You know, your name is known in the Gears community. Yeah, yeah, but like when I was playing the Ultimate Edition the other day, it'd be people on the other team like, man, that's Frazier, boy. Like I watch your video and I'm like, damn, bro, I was streaming. You can ask people in my stream, like every time I was going to the lobby, like somebody didn't know me, it was crazy. I was like, damn. Man, um, I definitely, like I said, I got a love for Gears and on my channel, I just post what I feel like I do good in. Like, if I had a great Gears game, I'm gonna post that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep posting it, and I genuinely love Gears. And like, yeah. I'm not even like pro player level, 
but I'm so competitive. Every time I'm playing, I'm trying to like take it to that next level and get better. I I, I used to want to be like a Gears of War pro player and Gears of War two, but I didn't even know nothing about MLG and. I barely knew a little bit. You know, when I thought that they was doing a turn, I was like, what? I want to do that. I want to yeah. start playing competitive. When Gears of War 3 came out, I started playing competitive. I was, man, I was good as shit at Gears of War 3 and competitive. I hold the GB crown. I held the GB crown for GB singles for like a month, like a month and a half. I, I got yeah. the trophy on my GB account. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, we, we should get some games in. Oh, yeah, definitely. Games. Definitely. Uh... So, uh, as competitive as you are, and, and just as skillful as you are, uh, do you have people you play with, or are you just out here solo in it? I play solo. If I play with anybody, I play with my day one dudes from Gears, uh, Poise, and um, Woody. Okay. So, y'all, uh, y'all still doing the GB thing? Yeah. So, are you going to... Uh, Cause you know they hosting the little public tournaments or whatever online. You gonna try to get into that? Yeah, yeah. I, I just heard about that, so I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, they um, you know, they having a the team doing all that jazz. Yeah. Uh, the most recent one just uh ended. 